On September 1, 1970, Dr. Charles Johnson became a Duke pioneer by being named the School of Medicine's first black faculty member at an institution that was overwhelmingly white. In a 2013 video, Dr. Johnson talks of his early struggles to adapt. The first barrier that I encountered was the ward clerks, all white females, never would speak. I'd ask about patient X, they would not ever answer. But with the full support of school administration and the guiding hand of former chair of medicine Eugene Stead, changes toward equity were gradually made. I'm annoyed to me, Dr. Stead and his group obviously had a workshop set up somewhere that the things that they were changing. So one day I looked up and all the ward clerks were black females. And although I saw them, it was such a gradual process and a quiet change. It wasn't something you right away paid attention to. Throughout his 26 years on faculty and as a practicing endocrinologist, Dr. Johnson blazed a trail of change toward equity and inclusion. His influence is now branded in the DNA of the school and of the students and trainees he mentored. Many of us that look to him as a mentor, uh, as a person that we could go to and talk to both professionally and personally, he meant very much to us. And then for the institution, I think that he brought a sense of awareness of the impact of what discipline and excellence, irrespective of one's race, could mean. A lot of the things we learned in medical school was the science of medicine. Um, but Dr. Johnson taught me the art of medicine, how to listen to a patient, how to understand their needs more than just uh, prescription drugs and procedures. He really did introduce the concept of social determinants of health way before we understood that as a scholarly area to, to do research because he basically understood the communities that many of our patients were coming from. And that came across in his teaching. He had the ability to see things in you sometimes that you didn't quite see in yourself and help you find those things and bring them out. And he stressed that you're just as good as anyone else and that you shouldn't uh, take a back seat to anyone else just because of your color. Dr. Johnson was very instrumental in, in convincing students and trainees to come to Duke um, at a time where we were not diverse either in our medical students or our faculty. And he worked very closely with Brenda Armstrong in transforming our medical students' admissions process. Yeah, I think one of his legacies is the diversity that we now have and that we now celebrate and that enriches our organization. I think we owe a lot of that back to him. To celebrate the significance of Dr. Johnson's contributions to the School of Medicine, a group of alumni and friends have begun raising money for the Charles Johnson MD Scholarship Fund. Dr. Johnson's legacy means a lot. To us, we want the same principles of discipline and excellence in all that we do to be remembered and identified by those future generations of students who will come to study here. I don't think anyone can question his abilities, his dedication to his patients and to the university. So the legacy of excellence will always be there for Dr. Johnson.